Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Isaiah and today I'm going to be talking about the hindrances of growth. This is going to be a, this is not, I'm not going to mention everything in this video. You'll hear it, another one, you'll hear the other hindrances of growth as we go on in the videos. So, today we are going to be talking about, um, today's hindrance of growth will be about no no words and what I mean by that is saying words like I can't um, I'm dumb or um, I'll never be able to do this you know that never say never saying well it's true because if you say never your subconscious mind receives that and as you and will receive that and for that thing that you said you'll never be able to do or you'll never do your subconscious mind will will bring you to not be able to do that so what are things that you need to work on if it is what if you uh, if you are if the hindrance that you are talking about today now the hindrance that I'm talking about not to you you're listening but anyways <laughs> all right if the hindrance that I am talking to you today about is you saying talking about no no words then you need to figure out ways that you can avoid this because keep in mind I just told you what will happen if you are if you say something how your subconscious mind reads it so what are things that you can do well number one you can avoid focusing on your failures in a bad way because just because you fail at doing something doesn't hinder your growth if anything it progresses your growth because if you fail you learn from that failure and you rem you make sure you never do that again i already mentioned the story but i really like mentioning this story um it's about how somebody's walking through the street they fall in a hole. I'm gonna give you the, the the short version. They fall in the hole. The next day, they're going. They they fall in that hole again. And then the following day, they see that hole. They know it's there, but they still fall in. The third, I mean the 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 following, they go, they go around it. And the next day, they they remember that hole, and they decide to take a different route. You see how they made the fa they they failed a few times and then they actually figure out figured out that there is a way to go away from that that is what you need to do to make sure that you avoid looking down on failure because failure in your eyes may seem bad or bad to others let me tell you something have you seen how a celebrities will say something and to some it'll seem bad because they are looking for something to they're looking for something to hate on them about just because they have gained success so what are things that we do what are things that you can do to um well we're not going to get into that but anyways what are things that you will do to make sure that failure in your eyes is something that is good. Well, number one, remember that your process in doing something, the path that you are taking is very long. And just because you want something fast doesn't mean it will come fast. You have to be willing to take the time to do that specific thing. Doctors do it all the time. They'll realize that they have to do uh, college, make sure they get the, the correct credits, and then they go to medical school, that's four years, and college is four years, and then they go for residency, um, where they are supervised and still learning. Now that right there is however long it takes, depending on the field you take. I know for orthopedics, most of the stuff I've seen, it takes them about 10 years, or or less or more um, depends but you see that 
depending on it just depends um, but I'm saying what I'm trying to say is that just because you want some something to come fast doesn't mean it'll come fast like I said doctors do it all the time where they are willing to wait like I said that's a long time for me I want to do it but for real like all that time you know what I'm saying like you just have to be willing to go through that process and then once you reach the end then you open new doors how about that if you're willing to wait good for you like my mom says that um, she says that you can avoid doing something but somebody else will be doing it while you're not so why not do it all right look at me getting off track anyways that was the first step to avoiding that type of hindrance another is avoiding comparisons I'm not gonna get into this because I will touch up on that on the next video but avoiding comparisons if you see somebody who is a lot better than you or has a strength that you don't and you start comparing yourself you're actually envying that person and you may not realize that you're envying that person, but you are. So, what are you going to do? First of all, uh, somewhere in the Bible it says that you shouldn't envy or um, be jealous. So, that is one thing. But anyways, don't envy someone. Just because they have a strength you don't, they also have weaknesses. So work on your strengths so because your strengths might be the strength they need so why not work on your strengths and at some point they will acknowledge your strengths and you can work with them you see what I'm saying like I said I'm not gonna go on go too much in depth because that's gonna be in the next video the next step is to um, oh is to avoid emotional traps um, so I learned this one in the book sometimes you win sometimes you learn by John Maxwell and um, um, an emotional trap is being swayed by your emotions like let's say right now I'm on YouTube and I'm recording or I'm on my I'm on my phone making a podcast you may be discouraged that you may be discouraged that people aren't viewing your videos but look all things come at the right time and if the right time isn't now you'll know just keep on progressing and moving on until that time comes because when it does it'll only go up from there all right so what is the takeaway from this this ep this video is that the subconscious mind is very very important the things that you do impact your subconscious mind and if those things are negative to the things that you want to do that is what might be hindering your growth so i hope you all have a blessed day and take care